Uh, we're celebrating my birthday by doing what? Demoing a bathroom, huh? Yeah, demolition, demolition. demolition. Good morning, everybody. Demolition. Happy birthday to me, and uh, thank you, everybody, for the uh, beautiful birthday wishes. My girl put up a beautiful uh, card on uh, Facebook today. You're okay, kid. You're all right. So, yeah, a lot of people go out to the movies on their birthday or go out. We're going to have a fancy dinner tonight. Bobby's going to come over till 4. we got to be done at 3. It's about 9.15 now. We're going to see how much we can uh, demo here today. What better way to celebrate a birthday than tearing the shit out of the stuff? Right, right, honey? I mean, absolutely. <laughs> see, look at how excited she is. You can see that smile on her face. Getting so. stuff done. Yeah, yep. awesome. getting, getting shit done. So let's, uh, what, one of the things we need to do is try to preserve the uh, rest of the place. It's, you know, demoing is not as dirty as, say, sanding drywall. But we are going to close all the doors to the uh, bedrooms here. Just so we keep the uh, dust and stuff to a minimum, close that, and that will be pretty much sealed in. But I'm going to be running a, a wheelbarrow in and out of here all day as we uh, as we start to demo the place, and we're going to start with the uh, with the east wall here, and then move to the uh, south wall there, and we're going to try to keep that surround as long as possible, so we can still use the. Uh, the uh, bathroom and then uh, if we still have more time we're going to come around to the uh, to the west wall here and finally the north wall and you can see on the other side in the old days this is the way when this house was built in 56 those of you who remember in the early there was a wall heater here and Bobby and I used to laugh and freeze here in winter time that wall heater would come on and that air was supposed to go over the top and come over and fall down into the bathroom we can imagine how well that works. So I close that side off over here and we'll be doing the same thing to uh, this side. So uh, Jennifer's getting the last of this stuff out there and uh, I'm going to go pump up the wheelbarrow uh, tire because we're going to need that's going to be big doing today. I'll get my heavy gloves on and get the, uh, get the show on the road. One important thing we want to do is preserve this ceiling, okay? Because above the ceiling is just a ton of loose insulation that is really gross and kind of degraded so I want to keep that stuff up on top there so what we're going to do is uh, score very carefully with the uh, with the box cutter here along the ceiling line and then when the drywall breaks away we won't have an issue with uh, pulling part of the ceiling away you can see over here there was probably some water infiltration damage I don't know how well you can see up there you can see that's kind of bubbled a little bit over there next to the heater and that predated the heater installation the vent going in so we'll be uh, getting a better examination once we pull the drywall of what went on over there so you guys we can't all be in the bathroom here go on out Randy there we go go on go on out there we go okay oh, small bathroom is like a family affair in here right so let's get going. All right, so here we come to one of these forks in the road, and you can see this is pretty substantial here for this, uh, this build out here. And the question is, is it structural or not? And the answer is no, because the structural beam is actually the uh, long ones going across this way, and if you pan down there, runs the, uh, the length down here. So this was, this was basically put in to just uh, have this closet build out and for the linen closet on the other side. We'll be able to uh, remove this, and I have my safety glasses on. I've got the heavy artillery today, the saws on. Really good. Approach it from another angle here. Ooh, that'll vibrate your head a little bit. <laughs> Sliced right through that, like butter. I'm gonna get the hammer and see if we can knock that away, okay? But that's the whole freaking house coming down there. Eh? Uh, 
take a little time to bring that away. Yeah, you got big nails there. Yeah. You pull that nail out, it'll help, maybe. Yeah, cut through all the nails there. See on the side, there's nails. One, two, three, yeah, we've four, got those, five. Uh, those big boys, so I guess we can go vertically saw down through that. We've got the general purpose saws all laid here. Okay, guys, about 10.30. Been making good progress uh, up here. See, I got a new skylight right at the bus through the uh, ceiling. This thing was really built in, and it extended into part of the closet. But we got that uh, pulled out. I cut the uh, stud coming out there. Uh, the stud wall is going to continue along here. Going to have to do some modification, because you can see that the uh, closet door is going to be, uh, <clears throat> you know, intruding on the stud wall. So we'll have to figure out what we're going to do there. The good news is we don't have to worry about that today. We might end up sealing that up right there and making this a built-in for bathroom storage here and then putting a uh, closet down at the end of the hall. You've been doing good today. You've been running that wheelbarrow and cleaning up the schmutz on the floor and everything, huh? <laughs> She's not even talking to me. <laughs> I can't have energy to talk. Yeah, no energy to talk. So why don't you, <clears throat> why don't you take a break for a while? Because I'm just going to go schmutz this wall a little bit over here. And uh, the really hard work today has been done removing that apparatus. So we got some big decisions to make about whether we seal that door on the outside of the hall and use this whole thing for bathroom storage back in there from this side and then make a closet down at the end of the hall there. Thereby we've doubled our closet space and now you can see that the swing that this door will effectively have now. And if you stand out here now and you look in, it's absolutely huge. Yeah. Now the good news is that closet could be, uh, that storage could be flush with the wall there so that door will open all the way. And uh, there's so much room to get a uh, chair through there. It's uh, 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 amazing. Minus five, close that door off. Yeah. <laughs> Put the door over there. Yeah. So that's exactly what we'll probably do is end up doing yeah. uh, switching this. We'll remove this door and the hinges and everything. And we'll just drywall that in and then make the inside the uh, closet. Otherwise, when you open the door here, the wall is going to be right here. And it's going to kind of be kind of weird. It's gonna be... But it's doable. I mean, you can put a, you know, I mean, your closet is effectively there, but it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but you have a huge size bathroom now. <clears throat> that must make you pretty happy when you see yeah, that. Yeah, huh? without using this. Uh, so I think this is what, this is why I think it's important to do stuff on the fly as opposed to having a plan because we never knew when we got in here what we would be facing with this closet. And there was a lot, we pulled four or five big uh, redwood two by four by eights in there and a lot of cross beams and stuff. And I had to make sure there's no load carrying situations, which of course uh, I was very careful to determine they're not. But we wouldn't have known, we wouldn't expect him to make this an inside closet and now we're thinking it's like a touch of genius because now we don't have any closet taking any up any space at all and we can have an absolutely huge storage place inside of there so and i think that that's going to be fantastic oh, huh? now that can have uh you know a, a couple doors on the bottom and then louvered and open shelves and all kinds of stuff in there you can almost almost if you come in here a minute you can almost sort of walk in here if you can have shelves to keep all your stuff on there and a lot of stuff. And then below can be uh, shelving with cabinet doors and stuff like that. 
or it can be all open shelving up there. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of alternatives. The key will be changing out and sealing up that door on the outside there and using that door down the end of the hall. So I'm going to get back to work and finish uh, demoing the uh, east wall here. So uh, we're going to leave that up there today. We don't want the rest of the schmutz to fall down. No, this thing's just sucks. loaded with that stuff. We're going to end up taking the saws all and just cutting right across there because we got to be able to put up a, uh, you know, either frame out for the uh, closet thing that we're going to do. So we got some, we got a little bit of engineering work to do, but <coughs> we're happy. So if I had more and more reviews and right. stuff, it's getting better and better. See you in a bit. The trick is get nice big pieces of drywall, that way you have less schmutz going all over the place. We're going to be, uh, going to be keeping this fan up here. Let's see that. Also, got to remember to be very careful to score along the ceiling line so that we keep the ceiling intact up there as much as possible. comes off pretty cleanly when you score it like that. So, okay, continue right on. <laughs> 